Okay, solving now this polynomial inequality. We're going to use a lot of our skills that we know from solving polynomials and skills that we know from inequalities, combine them and find this value. So in order to do it, let's make this e less than 0 first. So I end up with x cubed minus 9x squared plus 11x plus 21 is less than or equal to 0. Now I'm really not going to worry about my sign here at this particular time. I'm going to look to factor this scenario. Well, if I look to grouping, it doesn't group. I can see that quickly. So let's look at factors of 21, which are 1, 3, 7, and 21. If I do some quick calculations here, I believe that 1 will work. If I go 1 minus 9, oh, let's try minus 1. Let's go. Uh, so let's do synthetic division because I'm pretty sure this will work. I'll pull down the 1, I get negative 1, negative 10, 10, 21, negative 21, and 0. And so this is the x squared minus 10x plus 21. Factor this, x minus 3, x minus 7, and this factor here is x plus 1, and this has to be less than or equal to to zero. So in order to do this, let's consider a number a number line. And we want less to zero means negative numbers. That's negative numbers. Negative numbers. Okay? And so making my sign chart, I'm going to consider uh, my seven, three, and negative one. And I'm going to look at each factor individually. So when I look at, let's try, look at this interval here. I'm going to look at values that are in this interval. So let's say that it's x is negative 10. If I put negative 10 in here, that ends up being negative 9, which is a negative. Negative 10 in here makes negative 13, which is a negative. Negative 10 in here is negative 17, which is a negative. These three negatives multiply to get a negative value. Look in the interval between negative 1 and 3. So 0, for instance. This is positive, it goes positive, negative, and a negative. So all together multiplied, those end up being a positive. Again, between 3 and 7, let's pick a value of 5. The first one is positive, the second one is positive, and the next one is negative. So again, I have negative. And then finally, larger than 7, so like 100, that's positive. That's positive and positive, and so all together is a positive value. So I am looking for values that are less than or equal to zero. Well, all these ones are negative, and all these ones are negative. Okay? I also know that it's equal to zero, so big solid in dot, big solid in dots, big solid in dots here. So if we put this all together, I know that a negative infinity to negative 1, and I can't actually equal negative infinity, union with 3 to 7 is my solution. This also means x is less than or equal to negative 1, or 3 is less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 7. So I have it equal to 7. Now let's consider a graphical sol solution. If I look over at Wolfram Alpha, which I already did here, I typed in my equation as such, and this is the graph I got. And so if I look at it, this region here, the graph is negative, the graph is negative values here, and so it's negative 1, negative to negative infinity, and then you can see from 3 to 7 is also correct. It's, the graph is less than 0 or equal to 0.